You're watching one of a series of videos where Elisa Childers and I respond to 23 progressive Christian claims, kind of like a progressive Christian manifesto that was written by Ragamuffin TV. We deal with these claims, some good, some bad, some ugly, and I'm hoping that this helps you to think biblically. Uh, okay, this next one is, this. these next two are tough, okay, but I know you're up to the task. Um, All right. Now, I might get in trouble when I answer I know. These. Well, I know that you've recently done a, a pretty extensive series on one of these, but we'll get to that one in a second. But um, honestly, I, I, <laughs> I've been curious about this one myself. Number 20, yeah. it, he, he says it's not a sin to smoke. Um, here's one where I think that the typical conservative Christian church has overreacted. Um, and then my problem is that the, <clears throat> the response to this is then an underreaction. <laughs> and so I think the truth is more in the middle. Um, smoking is a broad term. So what if I said this, is it a sin to smoke one cigarette a week? Well, I mean, you're not getting high off of it. You're not, you're not losing your sobriety. It's mm -hmm. not going to cause you any severe harm. It's not really a big risk actually, to be honest. Okay. But what about a pack a day? Okay. Yeah. You're probably going to die now. That's probably a bad thing. <laughs> you shouldn't do that. It's harmful. It brings you under its power. So if it's a, it's in a, if, if smoking is an addictive behavior, if smoking is, is going to cause you physical harm as a pack a day habit would. But what about a guy that has a uh, smokes a pipe where he doesn't inhale every night, uh, you know, before he goes to bed or maybe once a week. Okay. Here you realize it's not just a black and white issue. Yeah. There's an issue. There's a question of moderation and how damaging and how harmful things are. Now, I think that the, uh, the black and whiteness of, well, let me give you an example. Uh, Pastor Chuck Smith used to say that he felt so uncomfortable with smoking that if he was walking through the church parking lot, he saw a cigarette on the ground, he'd feel bad for picking it up to throw it away. Wow. Our convictions can drive a lot of our yeah. feelings on these things. Yeah. If you're convicted about smoking, you shouldn't ever do it in any way, shape, or form. If you feel like it's entirely okay, then you absolutely have to recognize that it, you can't let it bring you under its power and do not do it to an extent that might be harmful to your body yeah. um, or, or others, or you're going to stumble others with your behavior because the use of liberty can stumble others. Yeah. So I, I think that would probably be a more balanced approach. Yeah. Most people who are sm regular smokers are probably doing it in a sinful fashion in reality. Yeah. And I, that doesn't mean everybody. It could is, be uh, yeah. also, it just occurs to me too, it could be a sanctification issue, part of your sanctification process, because I've done a quite a bit of inner city work and uh, in urban areas where, you know, you would do evangelism and somebody would get saved who had a horrible drug problem and mm -hmm. got, you know, they're, and they're, they're clean for the first time in their life, but they're smoking cigarettes on the church steps. And, you know, it's like, they just haven't been convicted yeah. of that yet because there's this much bigger mm -hmm. thing that God's convicted them about and they're, they're working on and working on their sobriety yeah. there. So I think there can be, um, a bit of gray area in that too, as God, you know, it, I love how Charles Ryrie, described sanctification. God gives you light, you respond to that light, and then he gives you more light. And so it could, you know, fall in, in that somewhere too. But I think that was a, yeah. that was a good answer. And I'd never excommunicate somebody because right, they smoke. Right, right. Yeah. And I, and all sin is not the same. Yeah. The guy that's who's right. cheating on his wife, get out yeah. of here. You know? I'd rather you smoke. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'd much rather you be smoking. Yeah. So they're not all the same, but if we're, if we're really talking about full, full lives devoted to Christ, yeah. um, uh, addiction and harm are, are things yeah. that you don't want in your life. That's good. I'm going to be putting up one of these videos every single day until the entire series is uploaded on my channel with a playlist. So you might want to subscribe if you want to get those notifications. But if you can't wait, there's links to the two video interviews in large form that I already did on Elisa Childers' channel down below.